This is the University of Rochester. Okay, well this is our 8th annual pumpkin launch. It's sponsored by the student chapter of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME when I get jargony. And we, it's open to anybody. We have high school kids coming in. Uh, we've had high school kids from as far away as Livonia. I'm not sure they're coming this year. We have a number of city, city high school kids here this year. Uh, I think we're going to have, this looks like our biggest, our biggest one today. I'm imagining somewhere we're pushing maybe a dozen teams. We've got a team from RIT, several U of R teams, and some of the high school teams. Uh, we're with Livonia Central School District, the high school, and uh, we have one group this year uh, that's participating in, in with our engineering design development course, and, and we also have a POE group that's uh, participating. We actually had a second group, but they kind of lost theirs out of the back of the truck on the way here, so it was in pieces, so we actually only have one group right now. And most of them are built two by fours, bolted together, so you need a saw, you need a drill, you need a bunch of bolts. Um, it's not that big a deal. Um, if you're really cute, then you go out and buy some decent bearings because that's a, that's a key to getting the thing to swing properly. There are two categories really of launchers. There are the trebuchet, the sort of catapult kind of thing that you all know about, and then there are people who bring air cannons. Well, air cannons apparently are unlimited, so we've had to say that you're not allowed to go over 300 feet. But we have had air cannons in the past come fairly close to hitting the fraternity quad. Yeah, this is, this is so we want to put these in the pumpkins, oh, yeah. okay. and where these land is where we score from. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's been a lot of learning and difficulties, but problem solving, and but it's been a blast. This is the University of Rochester.